In this project, we will build a door lock with a password using Arduino. We will use a 4x4 keypad, an LCD screen with an I2C module, and a small SG90 servo motor. This project demonstrates how to create a simple electronic lock. You enter the password through the keypad, and the servo opens or closes the door. This project is ideal for beginners because it teaches you how to connect a keypad and an LCD screen to Arduino, write code to handle the password, and control a servo motor for mechanical movement. You can find all the project information on the blog link. Now let's look at the components required. We need an Arduino Uno or a similar board. We also need a 4x4 keypad, an LCD screen with an adapter or I2C converter, and a small SG90 servo motor. Finally, we need a door lock or latch for the practical test. I will now show you the mechanical part of this project where I built this door. As for the electrical wiring diagram, it is as follows. The LCD screen is connected to the Arduino board via the I2C adapter. The keypad is connected directly to the digital inputs. The servo motor is controlled through a digital pin of the Arduino. It is powered with 5 volts, but it is better to use an external power supply. Now let's move to the Arduino code. At the beginning, we include the libraries for the I2C screen, the keypad, and the servo motor. Then we define the screen address and choose pin D10 for the servo signal. Next, we define two angles, one for locking and one for unlocking. We also create the servo object to be used later. After that, we set up the keypad by defining the 4x4 button map and connect the rows and columns to Arduino. The keypad library handles button presses and debouncing. Then we define the password, in this case 1234. The variable password stores the password. The variable input stores what the user types. The variable door unlocked tracks whether the door is open or closed. Next, we have two functions which form the user interface on the LCD screen. They display messages depending on the state, enter password when locked or door is open, press start to close when unlocked. We also have the control functions of the door. Lock door moves the servo to the locked angle and resets the screen to the password mode. Unlock door moves the servo to the unlock angle and displays the open message. There is also an error message when the password is wrong, it displays wrong password and then returns to the default mode. The function handle key contains the main logic. If the door is open, only the star button closes it. If the door is closed, the hash button compares the input with the password. The star button clears the input, the D button deletes the last digit, and the buttons A, B, and C add characters up to a maximum of 8. 
on the screen the input appears as stars instead of the real digits. Finally, we have the setup function. It initializes the LCD and the backlight, connects the servo, and starts the program in a locked state. It then displays the first message. The loop function continuously reads the button presses. When a button is pressed, it sends the value to the handle key function. This code will be uploaded to the Arduino board. Then we will see the door controlled through the keypad. And so we come to the end of today's video. I am happy with your follow up. Do not forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends. This way we continue together with more Arduino projects.